This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips, techniques, and trips video. This was our third trip to Egypt. And as in the two previous trips, one of the things that we had to do was dive the Blue Hole Arch of Dahab. Dahab is located approximately 60 miles north of the major airport at Sharm el Sheikh. On this trip, we had just finished a week-long liveaboard safari in Sharm el Sheikh and then spent another week in Dahab. As in our last trip, we also used Planet Divers and we were very fortunate to have Saddam Kilani to be our surface support. Saddam holds the world record for the longest dive underwater on scuba gear. Uh, that was about six days. He also holds the record for the world's largest underwater painting. Our gases were blended by Mr. Budla, which stands for bottle in Polish, the night before. And then each morning, Saddam was instrumental in organizing and getting us up to the Blue Hole. The Blue Hole is approximately six miles north of the Planet Divers Dive Shop and hotel where we stayed during our entire week. The 15 minute ride to the Blue Hole is very scenic and you're guaranteed to see camels on the way up there. On the way to the Blue Hole, you pass many other dive sites, including the Canyon Dive Site. The Canyon Dive Site is also an excellent technical dive. Here we are traveling over the hill that leads to the Blue Hole. You can see the circular shape of the shore uh, in this video clip. Along the left hand side of the road are a series of Bedouin restaurants. So frequently what we'll do is we'll drink some water at one of the restaurants and pre-order lunch so that we can have lunch after our dives. Fortunately, in this uh, dive, we uh, arrived before uh, significant traffic uh, developed at the Blue Hole. There can be a lot of snorkelers that arrive uh, later on in the day. You can see the shore to the right is a little bit rocky. Uh, it is not sand. Now we're approaching the main part of the Blue Hole and you can see uh, the remnants of a dock off to your right. There are various checkpoints along the way. You can see we're approaching one now. On the right hand side are some overhead covers where we will park the truck and we will uh, use that area as a base of operation. Further up the road are the commemorative plaques. At one point these were forbidden to be in place on the side of the hill but uh, people are still doing it. Just past the commemorative plaques the is the path to uh, another dive site called Bell's Lake. Bells. Uh, I have only done this uh, so dive at Bell's Bells once uh, using recreational here. gear. It is a really long walk uh, with a set of manifold doubles for uh, two side mounted tanks uh, and all the rest of the equipment. L Bells is actually a chimney in the coral uh, table and it is sometimes confused by uh, unknowledgeable people with the actual Blue Hole Arch. Here's the uh, actual entry point at Bell's Bells and as because you can like tell a, uh, a bad giant stride would really uh, mess up your day. Over here is a dock where snorkelers can board a boat and snorkel the different parts of the Blue Hole. This video clip is of the actual dive site. 
The lighter color area is actually table coral and the darker area is the actual blue hole. Uh, again, here are some of the Bedouin restaurants across the street. Oh, hey. Can you wave for me? This is our driver. The way things work here is you have a driver and a surface support or uh, sometimes the surface support is also the um, dive guide. So I'm walking down the street a little bit here and I'm going to uh, show uh, the actual entry that we're going to make. Uh, the way this works is you go into the water by yourself if you have a set of back mount manifolded doubles and then your surface support actually brings your decompression and travel gas cylinders to you once you're in the water. These steps were put in uh, during COVID-19 and they make it a little bit easier to get into the water. On this particular dive, our descent was along the circumference of the blue hole rather than doing a direct vertical descent in front of the blue hole. This is the preferred technique uh, in the event that um, you are not prepared to do a free descent uh, into deep water. If you are going to do a normal transit of the Blue Hole Arch, uh, be prepared to dive at a depth of about 200 feet. This is definitely in the area of normoxic trimix. It is possible to do the dive at a shallower depth, uh, just uh, above the um, ceiling. Uh, I call that the haircut version of transit. Uh, if you do that, you're at about 175. A lot of people that have attempted to do this dive on a single tank of air are actually at the bottom of the blue hole. There are an estimated 200 divers uh, who have died on this particular dive. During a period in around 2000, two or three divers used to die a day using air. This has been attributed to oxygen toxicity and nitrogen narcosis where the diver mistakes the bottom or the surface and swims down to the bottom. Even experienced Trimix divers continue to die in the blue hole of Dahab. The day after we left Dahab in 2021, a group of divers attempted a 100 meter dive. One of the divers, an experienced Trimix diver, actually panicked and went to the surface. He died of decompression illness two days later in the hospital. This is how this particular dive site has earned the reputation as the diver's graveyard.
For those of you that are interested in such details, we used 1830 as our bottom gas and 32 and 100% oxygen for our decompression gases. The dive was approximately one hour long, including the six minute uh, period of oxygen between 20 feet and the surface after we completed our decompression obligation. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.